And bodybuilding started when I was a lot younger in high school. Um, my dad, you know, was a bodybuilder growing up and everywhere we lived, you know, we always converted our garage into a weight room where we always had weights and that was like something my dad did every single morning was get up, have his coffee, hit the weight room. So growing up is what I saw is this ritual and routine of, you know, making that part of our lives and you know, um, you know, I played football in high school and that was like the main thing. That's why I started working out. My dad having the gym was to become a better football player, become a better athlete. You know, I played that, baseball, wrestled also. Um, you know, I didn't grow past 5'8". You know, I had some scholarship offers for D2 schools to play football. But playing a middle linebacker, I realized that being a professional athlete wasn't, being a professional football player wasn't really going to be something in my calling. So after I realized I don't play football anymore, I just started hitting the weights real hard. Um, I started training at the local gym and then ran into a, a bodybuilder. His name was Jimmy Lee. He won the USA it's like back in the 90s. But uh, I was like 17, I started training with him. And um, I did my first show when I was 17. It's kind of stuck with me ever since. You know, it's something that I'm passionate about and I'm, I'm good at. I snowboarded when I was younger. Um, I skateboarded too when I was in middle school. But you know, as I got you know into sports more, got more competitive. As I got, as I got older, my dad just you know cut all stuff off. But sometimes I wish you know I always wish I had a dirt bike or whatnot because yeah. I always dirt biking. But he's like you know I can't get hurt. You know I never really had an opportunity of doing that stuff. And you know that was my dad's choice. You know, mm -hmm. I'm sure if I would have done that, I would be sitting where I'm at right now, I'd probably doing yeah. something else. When I'm not prepping, my biggest thing I enjoy is food. Like I, food, I uh, to, I'm a food enthusiast, so <laughs> I like I really like ethnic foods. I like to go try different things. I like to go to little whole mall restaurants. You know, um, that's what I enjoy doing. Um, now, probably one of the most frequent asked questions. You know, what advice would you give to the young adults or the kids out there? You know, what kind of motivational tips or you know can you give to them I would say be knowledgeable and, uh, and, and exercise your ability to learn and to absorb information because that's the biggest thing the more the, the moment you come shut off and you know you think you know it all that's when you're gonna stop making progress that's when you're gonna start regressing you know even being a top of living athlete myself like there's always something new I learn every single day you know that you got to be open-minded you got to learn different techniques because there's always somebody out there that knows more than you so as long as you can help yourself to recognize that, you'll become a better person, better, better athlete.